Imagine a city where the main river is an open sewer. That was London in 1858. The River Thames, filled with human waste and industrial runoff, became a festering cesspool. The summer heat intensified the stench, making it impossible to ignore. Parliament, located right on the river, was overwhelmed by the smell. Lawmakers had to soak curtains in chloride of lime just to endure their sessions. This wasn't just unpleasant. It was a public health disaster in the making. The great stink wasn't just about the smell. It was a wake-up call. London's outdated cesspools and overflowing sewers dumped waste directly into the Thames, contaminating the city's drinking water. Cholera outbreaks had already killed thousands, but many still believed in the miasma theory that bad air caused disease. The overwhelming stench forced officials to finally acknowledge the real problem, contaminated water. It was time for a radical solution before the city drowned in its own filth. Enter Joseph Bazalgette, the engineer who would change London forever. He proposed an ambitious underground sewer system to divert waste away from the Thames. Despite initial resistance due to cost, the government had no choice. The stench was unbearable. Bazalgette's design included massive brick tunnels, pumping stations, and miles of underground pipes. It was one of the most advanced sanitation projects of its time, laying the foundation for modern urban infrastructure. But would it work? Construction began in 1859, and it was a race against time. Thousands of workers dug tunnels beneath the city, laying over 1,100 miles of sewers. The system redirected waste far downstream, preventing contamination of drinking water. By the time it was completed in 1875, cholera outbreaks had dramatically declined. The Great Stink had forced London to modernize, proving that proper sanitation could save lives. Bazalgette's sewers still function today, a testament to his engineering genius. The Great Stink of 1858 was a turning point in public health. It forced governments to take sanitation seriously, leading to cleaner cities worldwide. Bazalgette's work didn't just save London, it set a precedent for modern sewage systems everywhere. Today, we take clean water and sanitation for granted, but it all started with a city choking on its own filth. Next time you turn on a tap, remember the lesson of the great stink. Infrastructure saves lives.